I just thought I would put a little video up on YouTube. It, um, just little thing here. Um, I was just, it was starting to thunder and rain and I was thinking, Hey, you know, um, one of the greatest advantages to having an Oculus Go is that you can be in a completely, um, completely, um, immersed in a, a virtual reality when even, whenever even your TV can't work. Um, because of the power consumption required, and you would have to have a backup battery. Well, your TV isn't running on a battery. Your um, your laptop might be running on a battery. Your iPad might be running on a battery. I mean, it is running on a battery. Um, the the these these things run on batteries. You know, they they run on batteries that are built into them, and they'll go for a good hour or so, and that's an hour you can be there watching some video content or you can be playing something like Minecraft, which even though Microsoft won't offer it for the Oculus Go for anybody to, to install, um, officially you can get it and I've been playing it for months and that's what I play inside of that thing. And when I'm playing that, I'm, um, if it's raining outside and the power goes off and the lights go off, I wouldn't even know because I'm immersed in virtual reality. And... Um, and so it wouldn't even matter if the lights were off, if the air conditioning was off, all that. It, it would it'd be temporary, and then I would be completely immersed in a reality that is um, that um, relaxes me, that relieves me of stress. And then I could have some other device, like an iPod or a whatever, playing music. And so I'd be playing music on the outside, be playing Minecraft inside my headset, um, and... Uh, and be completely unaffected by what goes on in the rest of the world around me, okay? And that's good because um, uh, because you don't want to be sitting around staring at walls or um, in the dark with the flashlight looking at your, your iPhone trying to collect uh, information about what might be occurring in the world and, you know... It's so much better just to be sitting inside of one of these things playing Minecraft, completely just not concerned. And I have got to go to work in like four hours, and I've got nothing better to do. I can play some Minecraft, and so that's what I'm doing. And what I'm doing in Minecraft right now is um, I figured out that I that I could uh, tunnel really quickly inside of the Nether at the at the lowest um, levels, and I'm going to try the highest levels too. And I'm looking around for a nether castle because I want to get some uh, blaze rods so I can start doing some um, do, doing some potion. Uh, I want to make some potions, you know, breathing potions, things like that. Uh, the the um, uh, traders are, are selling uh, blowfish. Um, I can't find it easily. But one thing I found out is, is that if I throw up a... Um, um, throw up a... Um, a portal inside the nether which I've never tried to do this before but I put up a portal in the nether and I went through it it spawned me 7,000 blocks away in the real world and I mean in the virtual real world you know the non nether world um, the Minecraft world and I was just like whoa that's like a warp you know I could go through a nether portal inside of I mean a portal I could go through a portal from my world into the nether and then from another portal inside the nether to another part of the Minecraft world um, without having to travel with um, um, any other means. And I was just like, well, that may offer another possibility of places to go inside of Minecraft. Uh, it's kind of like a warp. And so that's what I've been doing. Um, and so that's my kind of my new thing to try out. I've also... Uh, there seems to be other kinds of worlds you can go to. Like I remember seeing on YouTube somebody talking about a heaven world or whatever you could go to. And I haven't tried to go to any other. I haven't even tried to go for the Ender Dragon. You know, I'm just kind of like, I'm not really interested in ending the game or, or figuring out how to get like Elytra wings and junk like that. Um, I would rather just kind of focus on the mundane, simple stuff you know, the stuff that's accessible rather than the stuff that requires a lot of work. And so if, uh, if I get so bored of all the other stuff that I can do, 
then I'll probably go for that last thing. But I figure, you know, just it's like playing Fallout 3. Uh, you, you can spend a lot of time not going after the story. But, you know, if you go towards the end of the story, that's the end of the whole ex the full, the whole um, experience of being in Fallout 3 unless you play Fallout 3 again. And uh, so I'm just kind of like, you know, if worse comes to worse, I'll, I'll end the whole thing, you know, <laughs> I'll end the whole game. But I'll, I'll uh, and it's possible that I, I'm sh sure that with Minecraft, it doesn't end like with Fallout 3 that it ends the whole game. But um, it's just kind of like, you know, I'll f try to find out what other stuff that I can do until I'm really driven to do like the, the stuff that every kid is wants to do in Minecraft. I think uh, for, I can speak for the adults that what we s prefer to do is just the mundane, simple stuff and, you know, just building things and seeing what you can do and what little exploits you can find is more fun for an adult than, than pursuing inner dragons and getting, um, at least I, I speak for this adult. I don't know for other adults, but anyhow.